How about hand first of all for Anna Canales for putting this whole show together and all her crew. It's a lot of work. She's a great county chair. And um, how about a hand for Michelle Long Grisham? She's a dynamo, isn't she? Holy moly. Woo! Well, I, uh, I want to talk, we talk a lot about the American Dream, and I want to talk to you about my own experience with the American Dream. I grew up with a single mother who worked two jobs, minimum wage, to raise four kids. She didn't have a union. She didn't have health care. But she went to work every day because she was really convinced that if she showed us that ethic of hard work, that we would all succeed. But you know what? Democrats started a program in the 1960s called Head Start. Anybody heard of it? Well, I was in the 1970 class of Head Start. And you know what? Because Democrats from FDR to Kennedy to LBJ figured out we needed to have investments in our families and our kids. My mom went back to work after uh, being a new single mom. My sisters and me went to public school. And yeah, we ate free lunch and we had great teachers. Where's the teacher? And, they have, and Democrats who've always fought for people invested in public education and health care. And we built that American dream. Today, the kid from Barelas is running for the United States Congress. And you know who else is paying taxes and serving in our military and helping people? I'm proud that my sisters are here who are two of my role models. My sister Luisa, my older sister Luisa, who's a proud Army nurse who helped, who helped with wounded oh, yeah. back in Iraq, she's here. My other sister who's a nuclear engineer, well actually an electrical engineer who works in nuclear weapons at Sandia, Regina's here. We went to college, we succeeded because Democrats invested in people just like us and families just like us. But you know what, that American dream is not, is not something that was given to us. The labor movement, Democrats, like FDR and others, built it brick by brick. FDR with Social Security so seniors wouldn't be in poverty. Yes. Kennedy and LBJ with Medicare and Medicaid in the 60s so that we would have no old person, no person with a disability, no poor kid would be without health care. Those were democratic programs and public education, which is absolutely under attack. That is a democratic idea, and we gotta fight for it. We gotta fight for it. You know what? Because as Democrats, we've always believed, we've always believed that we're in this together. That it's not every kid, every every disabled person, every senior, every veteran for himself. That in fact, we're in this together. We're a community. There is something called the common good. And that's what Democrats have always fought for, and that's what I'm fighting for in this race, and I have my whole political career. So let me tell you what the other guys are pushing. The 1% agenda. That's right. The 1% agenda. That every man for himself. No. That, you're, that, that you're on your own. That it's the law of the jungle. That seniors need to figure out their own health care. That kids need to, need to figure out their own education. That we ought to privatize everything. Right now we have a Congress that has absolutely stood in the way of everything positive on jobs, on education that the President has tried to do, and we need members of Congress who are going to get back to the democratic fundamentals, yeah. what we yes. believe in and protect the middle class. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. So I got to say I haven't been in politics that long. Um, and I, I want to apologize to those of you because I don't have any big name folks from the past who have endorsed me. Um, but I'm very proud that standing up here with me is AFSCME and the teachers and CWA and the sheep that are working with. And the Green of Conservation Voters, the Conservation Voters of Mexico, and the Sierra Club, and every national progressive organization that fights the Democrats. From the, the retirees are up here. The Teamsters, I don't think they're up here, they're probably working. I said the retirees. She reminded me to the retirees. Yes, the retirees. I knew I was going to forget somebody. I already said the teachers. I'll say it again. Teamsters again. Oh. 
See, so we have a campaign that is. I said both. All right, ask me FT. See that. And you know what? The reason why I'm so proud that they're standing with me because they are the Democratic Party. They're the folks who are going to win it for us now. They're going to win this primary, but more importantly, they got to be involved and they got to be excited about who's going to represent their issues. And I'm proud that on the on the city council, I fought for the minimum wage. I didn't oppose the minimum wage. On the city council, we fought for plan growth, for better planning, environmental conservation, and a water budget in our community. And I'm proud that I not only passed public financing on the city council, but I passed an inspector general's bill in the city council. We need ethics and campaign finance reform if we're Democrats. We've got to do it. <coughs> Did you guys meet Nani? She's very shy. This is Nani. She's one of my biggest supporters. She yelled out. And she's been an absolute champion for folks with disabilities. So give Nani a hand. She holds our feet to the fire. So... We all know that we can win this. We all know that we can win this. But the National Party and the National Pundits are saying something very new this year. They're saying this is a democratic seat. Yes. So please, please don't let anybody tell you that we need to be more like them. That we need to be softer, uh, light. No one's what we need to be is more like us. Yes. So what, I got, what I'm offering you is very simple. It's a democratic platform. I'm pro-choice. Equality. Yeah. I'm pro women's rights generally, women's yeah. equality rights. I'm pro conservation. I'm pro labor. Yeah. And that's what we say we believe as Democrats. We have an opportunity this year to send someone up to Congress to stand with our great Democrats like Tom Udall. Like Tom Udall and Jeff Bingaman, who's been a great senator. And, and Ben Ray Lujan, who's, who hopefully will be taking over the Hispanic Caucus in the Congress. We need some more reinforcements, and we need to help this president push back on this radical right-wing agenda that the Congress has been pushing. I want to leave you because I'm getting the curtain. I want to leave you one last thought. My favorite political leader is a guy named Paul Wellstone. And he said something. He said, we all do better when we all do better. And that's what Democrats believe. Please stand with me and let's win. Let's win, Democrats.